You're hungry, right? Well, welcome to cooking with TJ. So we're making portobello mushrooms. Portobello. I never understood that. Is it portobello or portobella? There's an A at the end. I'm assuming it's portobello. Anyway, we're stuffing them. Shut up, Squeaks. You little piece of garbage. See this cat over here? I'm fucking doing my video. He's like yawning at me. Why are you yawning, punk? Yawn again. I dare you. Yeah, yeah. Yawn again. You don't get one. There's two. You know what? That's one for me, and that's one for Chelsea. You know how many portobello mushrooms you get? None, bitch. Why is the skin coming off onto the fucking plastic? So you don't want that. This is the kind of shit they don't tell you about. Get the glue. So you're gonna cut this fucking stem off here. It's a pain in the ass. Everything you, everything you do in the kitchen is a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. We don't, we don't wanna put that, actually. Yeah, I don't know why this stem can't be here, but it's not supposed to be. All right, after you got the stem out, scrape all this crap out, all this brown shit. You know, you ain't gotta be super fucking every little smidgen of it or whatever, but like, you know, scrape it on out of there. Try to like preserve the rim of the mushroom as much as possible. Now, some mushrooms don't even have these rims. You know, especially if you're getting like Instacart or something, someone will bring you back a crappy ass mushroom. It's not even really like, doesn't even have a rim. It doesn't matter. It helps keep stuff in it a little better, but like, you know, it's not absolutely vital you have that rim. Blop, bloop, bloop. See, if I was like actually a good cooking channel or something, you know, I would have found some perfect looking mushrooms. I would have cared, but I'm not, so I don't. There you go, that's good enough. And you might be thinking to yourself, TJ, it didn't look all that great. And you're right, but it's good enough. I have a philosophy in the kitchen and in life. Eh. Anyway, this one's a better mushroom, so this one will be mine. This crappier looking one will probably be Chelsea's. The brown stuff's coming out a lot better than this one, too. This is just an all around better fucking mushroom. It's got a better ridge, more defined. Brown shit comes out easier. All right. Notice how I saw the brown shit over there in a bowl. There's a reason for that. Don't worry about it. We'll get to it later. You don't really want white shit in there. I don't know how that got in there. Out. 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 Set these motherfuckers aside. We're done with them for now. Two things I hate more in life than uh, chopping an onion. But uh, it has to be done. So, let's do it. There's a pile of fucking onions right there. What's next? Gotta cube this fucking thing. Man, I don't know. Maybe we should save this thing for later. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? What is it? It's a fucking zucchini from the forest of Guatemala. Anyway, chop that piece of garbage off. You don't need that. Um, now there's probably like a way to do this. I don't know what it is, so we're just gonna like do it this way. Now that I'm looking at this pile of zucchini, there's probably too much of this, but whatever. All right, then, as if we haven't done enough tedious chopping bullshit, we gotta now chop this stupid Roma tomato. Get out. All right, that's good enough for that. All right, let's get some salt and pepper on this shit here. Fucking fresh ground pepper, man. If it's not fresh ground, then it's wrong. I don't know why, but I heard that. So, don't ever buy no pre-ground pepper. What are you thinking? Put some salt on this motherfucker, especially this. Get a lot of salt in that zucchini, you know? Toss it around. Cause that'll suck some of that moisture out of that zucchini, you know? Get some of that moisture out of there. All right, fuck. I think we're about to the point where we can actually start cooking shit. All right, remember them trash ass mushroom innards from earlier? 
give those a little fucking mash with your fork. Just go in there and kind of mash them up. Just get them all mashed up. Make sure there's nothing too big, not too big of a piece anywhere in there. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a fucking salting too. Obviously, if you want some kind of low sodium bullshit, a little pepper. If you want some kind of low sodium bullshit, you don't have to worry about that. Um, at this point, let's get our broiler going. Start the broiler on high there. What we do need is to get this started. Put that on like medium high-ish heat. Here we got some butter. See that? That's butter. Butter. Dump that in there. Blah. Get in there. Fucking piece of shit. You see that? Oh. That's good shit. You know, I tried to put butter on a pickle one time. That's about the only thing I that butter didn't work on. I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. That's a lot of butter. And for those of you thinking that, I will uh, let you know that you could also year, use your crybaby tears to uh, put in there. Those are salty and oily enough to, uh, to fry stuff in. But for those of you who are real men or real women, uh, that's just about the right amount of butter to saute all the shit we need to saute. Let's start with these onions. If there's a little bit of like, oh no, a little bit of zucchini got in too early, don't worry about that garbage. The stir. Oh, look at that, I'm stirring stuff. Wee, wee, I'm so creative. Onions on a hot surface, baby. And uh, basically you're gonna cook these onions till they're where they're called, like translucent. That's what they say, you know? So you'll see that happen in like some time, but not yet. All right, that looks about ready to add our next shit. So uh, next step is, we're gonna take the uh, zucchini from Papua New Guinea or wherever I said it was from. Gonna add that shit in. I think we're only gonna add about half because uh, there's a lot of that. And maybe a little smidgen more. And uh, also we're gonna add, remember these disgusting mushroom innards that we took out earlier? For whatever reason, we can put them back in. Boom. Remember that? Yeah. All right. Stir that shit up. You know. And, uh, you know, this is like one of them tedious things. A lot of times when this kind of shit's going on, I'll just kind of wander around the house aimlessly, like, walk away for like, you know, three minutes or something, and I'll come back and look at it, see where it is. Be like, you know. Ooh, let's see if I can do one of those flips. Let's see if I can do one of the Gordon Ramsay chef chef flips where I'm like, whoop! That was kind of it, a little bit. A little bit of that going on. Eh, not too bad, not too great. Whatever, I'm gonna mostly stick to this because I'm not that good at that. Some fucking Italian Herbos coming at you. You see that? It's about time to add some of that in there. Fresh ground, motherfucker. Can't beat that. I mean, I guess fresh from the garden would probably be best. But who the fuck has time to have a garden? What year is this? It's 2020, right? The year of evil. I actually like 2020. I like the chaos 2020. You guys maybe have gathered from my style in the kitchen, but I like I like a little chaos, you know? So this year, it's good for me. Maybe not so good for you, you crybabies out there, but I like it. I like how unpredictable it is. Let's really herb this motherfucker up. Cause you know, when I'm eating this shit, if you're gonna eat some vegetarian bullshit, you know, I hate when vegetarian bullshit tries to taste like real shit. You know, you're gonna be a bunch of vegetarian bullshit, tastes like a big old fucking plate of vegetables, right? But be good about it. And this'll do that. This ain't too fucking bad, you know? Come look at this. It's looking good. It's looking sexual. I'd stick my dick in it. Would you? I mean, that's, what do you think? Is that looking good to you? Am I crazy? That's looking good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I think we're at the point now 
Mm, no, no, I'm jumping the gun a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm jumping the gun because I'm just eager to do stuff. That happens to me a lot. I have uh, attention deficit disorder, you know? I like having some kind of thing, some kind of mental problem you can blame all your fucking defects on. That's always handy. I have attention deficit disorder, so I tend to be impatient. I tend to rush things. So, you know, sometimes something won't quite be there, but I'll be like, next thing, next thing, next thing. You gotta be patient, you gotta wait. That's why I wander around the house aimlessly. So, you know, you gotta fucking wander around, you know, smell the flowers, pet your cat, pet your dog. It's too dark in here to really see what the fuck's going on, but uh, one of these lights is a light. You know, hey, what up, cat? How you doing? You a punk ass bitch. I'm gonna pet you, even though that might be on my dinner. I don't know. You know, so you gotta feel the flow of life. Wander around your house, become distracted, come back 20 minutes later to discover all your food is horribly burned because you fucking, you, you, you took your eye too far off the ball, you know? You can't be too attentive or too eager to go because then you'll mess it up, but you can't be too aloof, you can't be too out of it because then you'll mess it up too, you know? It's a, it's a balancing act, everything in life, balancing act. Next, we're gonna add these tomatoes to it. Blah. Bloop. Blip. That's Roma tomatoes, in case you forgot. And, remember how earlier we fucking cut up some garlic? No, we didn't cut up some garlic earlier because that's fucking annoying. So what we have is a big fucking jar full of pre-cut garlic. And I'm sure that if, uh, if a real chef was here, they'd lecture me on how you're not gonna get anywhere near the right place, flavor profile or whatever, but eh. Remember our motto, eh. A lot of garlic. Pile it on, pile it on. Get it in there good. Give it a stir. Now the reason you don't want to put the garlic in too early, by the way, is uh, that garlic cooks too long. It will get bitter. It will brown. It will have a totally different flavor than, uh, than it does, you know, when it's uh, raw or just lightly roasted. Garlic's flavor profile changes pretty quickly. You gotta be mindful of that with garlic. So, I'm gonna just kind of spread this out. Create a little flat layer there. Look at those colors. Isn't that a nice little bouquet of colors there, Chelsea? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So remember, we do have our broiler on. I'm gonna go ahead and set this kitchen timer right here for three minutes. And after that, we should be ready for our next step. Got our broiler tray out. Put these mushrooms here on the fucking broiler tray. Go ahead and give those a spritzing with this. Get some oil on the underside. This is zero calorie, so whatever. One thing I like to do, I'm a big fan of flavor. So I try to season every step. You know, even if I don't go crazy with seasonings every step, I always try to at least do some salt and pepper every step. Now you're supposed to just put mozzarella on the top of these, but I like to put a little bit on the bottom layer to help shit stick. Now here's the part where we actually stuff the motherfucking mushroom. See how beautiful that one is? You always have, every time I do this, there's always one beautiful mushroom that looks picturesque and ideal. And then there's the fucking ugly stepsister mushroom that looks like a goddamn mutant. But you know what, they both end up tasting as good. And try to get these as stuffed as you possibly can, you know. What we got right here at this point is a bunch of mushroom and vegetables and crap. So what we need to do to help fucking make this good is add some cheese to this son of a bitch. Cheese it up, cheese it up, cheese it up. Cheese, cheese. That's probably enough cheese, right? No, wrong, stupid. That's not enough cheese. I thought it was. No. That's probably enough, though. Enough. Psych more cheese! I just did a psych, what is this, 1993? So, what stage are we at now? This is the easiest stage of all. You take these two fucking beautiful goddamn mushrooms, get 
you put them in the oven, on broil. Come here and get this shit. Get it. Get a dramatic shot. Look at it going in there. Okay. Now you're gonna set the timer up here. Timer, 10 motherfucking minutes. Boom, see you in 10 minutes. Well, it won't be 10 minutes for you, but you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah. Whoa. Nice crispy layer of uh, cheese there at the top. But plenty of fucking melty cheese underneath. Should be pretty good. Now obviously they gotta cool for a minute and then we'll see how they taste. All right, I gave myself the uglier one because uh, Chelsea decided that she deserves the nicer looking one, even though I was the one who made the dinner. So that's fine. That's okay, I accept that. You know what? The uglier one is bigger. Therefore, I deserve it more. Anyway, if, it, if you did this right, you shouldn't need too much of a cutting implement or anything for it. Just dig in. Urgh. Maybe you need a little bit. Here you go. Still pretty hot. Getting that going. Trying to burn my tongue off. All right, let's see. Oh yeah. Dude, that flavor is fucking amazing on this. Like, there's so much flavor in this. If you like a good flavorful fucking dinner, um, this is great. That mushroom flavor, super strong. Um, the herb flavors in there are crazy. It's got like just the right amount of everything. Like the vegetable flavors, the mushroom flavor, the butter, the fucking cheese, all that stuff. It all fucking stands out, but nothing overshadows anything else, you know? It's like really a pretty perfectly balanced fucking meal. Um, and the textures are great. You got the soft texture of the mushrooms, the crispy texture of the top layer of cheese, the melty texture of the, uh, of the under layer of cheese, and the soft texture of all those sauteed vegetables inside. It's pretty much fucking dynamite. So I'm amazing. That's the point, you know? That's how you, you know, and that's, that's the brilliance of me. I just, I, I cook and I just, eh, 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 you heard it. But then at the end, boom, say magnifique, because I'm just that fucking good. Anyway, that's cooking with TJ. Piss off, I'm eating. Get out of my house. Get the fuck out, I said, eh? Get the fuck out of here. What are you, what are you doing to me? Stop, stop, ah!